ever wondered how to master the art of selling on eBay, well, you're in the right place. eBay, a global online marketplace, is a hub where millions of buyers and sellers come together every day. It's a platform where you can turn your passion into a profitable business right from the comfort of your home. The beauty of eBay lies in its flexibility. You can sell just about anything, from vintage collectibles to high-tech gadgets and everything in between. But like any business venture, success on eBay requires strategy, patience, and a bit of creativity. That's what we're here for, to help you navigate the ins and outs of eBay selling, from setting up your account to handling customer queries. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to become a successful eBay seller. So, let's embark on this exciting journey together, shall we? First things first, setting up your eBay account. It's quick, easy, and the first step to unlocking a world of potential sales. Begin by heading to eBay's homepage and clicking on the Register button at the top left corner of the page. This will take you to a new page where you'll be asked to input some basic information. Now when it comes to choosing your username, it's vital to pick something catchy yet professional. This is essentially your brand name, the name that customers will associate with your products and service. Make it memorable, easy to spell, and avoid using numbers or special characters as these can often confuse potential buyers. Once you've filled in all the required fields and agreed to eBay's terms and conditions, click on the register button. Voila! Your eBay account is now set up and you're ready to start selling. With your account set up, you're now ready to start selling. Choosing the right products to sell is crucial. That's right folks. It's not just about listing anything and everything under the sun. It's about striking the balance between what you love, what you know, and what the market wants. And this, my friends, is where market research comes into play. Market research is like the compass of the e-commerce world. It helps you navigate through the vast sea of products, pointing you towards the ones that are likely to bring you the most profit. It's all about understanding trends, identifying profitable niches, and gauging customer demand. So, how exactly do you do that? Well, start by looking at the top selling items on eBay. These are the products that are currently in high demand. But remember, high demand also means high competition. So don't stop there. Dig deeper, look for subcategories within these popular niches. These are often less saturated yet still profitable. Next, consider seasonal trends. Some products sell better at certain times of the year. For example, swimsuits might sell like hotcakes in the summer, but their demand might plummet in the winter. So, keep an eye on the calendar and plan your inventory accordingly. Don't forget to factor in your personal knowledge and expertise. If you're a tech whiz for instance, selling electronics might be a good fit for you. You'll be able to provide detailed product descriptions and answer customer queries with ease, adding value to your listings. And finally, remember to consider the profitability of a product. This involves looking at the product's selling price, the cost of sourcing it, and the associated shipping and handling costs. You want to ensure that you can make a good profit margin after all these expenses. So, there you have it. Market research might sound intimidating intimidating but it's really just about understanding what people want, identifying opportunities, and making informed decisions. And remember it's an ongoing process. Trends change, customer preferences evolve, and new products enter the market all the time. So, keep your finger on the pulse and stay adaptable. With the right products, you're already halfway to success. So, put on your research hats, and let's get cracking. Now let's talk about how to create compelling listings. A compelling listing is more than just a product description. It's a story, it's your opportunity to draw potential buyers in so make it count. When crafting your description, focus on the features that make your product unique. Use descriptive language to paint a picture in your customer's mind. Think about what would make you click add to cart. But remember, the description is just one part of the equation. High quality images are equally important. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. And when it comes to online selling, this couldn't be more true. Make sure your images are clear, well-lit, and show the product from multiple angles. If you can, include a video too. It's an extra step, but it could be the difference between a click and a pass. Now, on to keywords. Keywords are like the breadcrumbs that lead buyers to your listing. They're what potential customers type into the search bar when they're looking for a product. So how do you find the right ones? Start by thinking about what words you would use to search for your product. Include these in your title and description, but don't stop there. Use tools like Google's Keyword Planner to find related terms. And finally, remember to keep your listings fresh. Just like in a brick and mortar store, you wouldn't leave the same display up for months on end. Regularly updating your listings not only keeps your store looking fresh, 
It also signals to buyers that you're active and engaged. A compelling listing is your ticket to attracting more buyers. It takes time, effort, and a bit of creativity. But the payoff? More sales, more satisfied customers, a thriving online business. So, roll up your sleeves and let's get to work. Pricing and shipping. Two key factors that can make or break your sale. Let's explore these crucial aspects of successful eBay selling. First, let's talk about pricing. Pricing your items competitively is paramount. It's not about being the cheapest, but about offering value for money. When pricing your items, consider three things. The cost of the item, the price of similar items on eBay, and the value you offer, such as excellent customer service or fast shipping. Don't undersell yourself but also avoid overpricing. Striking a balance is key to attracting buyers and maintaining profitability. Now, on to shipping. Offering free shipping can be a powerful incentive for buyers. It simplifies the buying process and can give you an edge over competitors. But wait, you might be thinking, free shipping? Isn't that going to eat into my profits? Well, not necessarily. Here's a tip. Incorporate the shipping cost into your product price. This way you're not losing out and your customers feel like they're getting a great deal. Remember, perception is everything in the world of online selling. However, be mindful of your shipping costs. If you're selling a heavy or large item, it might be more cost-effective to charge for shipping. Just make sure you're transparent about these costs to avoid surprising your customers at checkout. Also, consider offering international shipping. Yes, it can be a bit more complicated, but it opens your business to a world of potential buyers. Just remember to accurately calculate and communicate these costs to your customers. Lastly, be prompt with your shipping. Fast shipping not only ensures happy customers but also helps you stand out from the crowd. Remember, customer satisfaction is key to repeat business and positive reviews. Remember the right pricing and shipping strategies can significantly boost your sales. So take the time to get them right and watch your eBay business thrive. This ends our segment on pricing strategies and shipping tips. We hope you found it insightful and helpful for your eBay journey. Finally, let's talk about managing customer service and handling issues. There's an old saying in the business world, the customer is always right. Now we know that's not always the case, but the sentiment behind it is crucial. As an eBay seller, providing excellent customer service is paramount. It's the backbone of your seller reputation, and it's what will keep your customers coming back time and time again. Now, we're all human. Mistakes happen. Maybe an order gets lost in the mail, or perhaps a product doesn't quite live up to a customer's expectations. It's how you handle these issues that sets you apart from the rest. The first step is to respond promptly. No one likes to be left hanging, especially when they're in a pickle. So, ensure you're keeping tabs on your messages and addressing any concerns as soon as they come up. Next, always keep calm and remain professional. Trust me, it's easy to take complaints personally, especially when you've put so much time and effort into your business. However, remember that your customer isn't attacking you personally. They're just frustrated with the situation. So, keep your cool, listen to their concerns, and work towards a resolution. Sometimes that resolution may mean accepting a return or issuing a refund. Yes, it's not ideal, but consider it an investment in your reputation. A satisfied customer is more likely to leave a positive review and recommend your store to others. Lastly, use these complaints as learning experiences. If you're getting the same complaint over and over, there might be something you need to address in your business. Perhaps you need better product descriptions or more secure packaging. Whatever it is, use this feedback to improve and grow. Remember, a happy customer is a repeat customer. By providing excellent customer service and handling issues effectively, you're building a strong foundation for a successful eBay business. With top-notch customer service, you'll not only retain customers but also attract new ones. And that's a wrap on our guide to mastering eBay selling. We journeyed through the essential steps to becoming a successful online entrepreneur, starting with setting up your eBay account. We explored how to research and choose profitable products, ensuring your business is off to a profitable start. Next, we delved into the art of crafting compelling listings that grab attention and inspire action. We also covered pricing strategies and shipping tips, crucial elements that could make or break your selling experience. Lastly, we discussed managing customer service and handling issues, emphasizing the significance of excellent customer service for long-term success. Each of these elements is a piece of the puzzle, leading you towards a thriving eBay business. Apply these tips and you'll be well on your way to becoming a successful eBay seller. 
Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And subscribe for more tips and tricks. Happy selling.